This is Chris Shavako with Shavako Capital Management. In part six of our six part series, we cover investment strategies for inflationary and deflationary outcomes. Inflationary and deflationary forces, coupled with possible Fed intervention, require a flexible approach to the financial markets. At Shavako Capital Management, we will continue to monitor the situation with an open mind and a healthy dose of skepticism. Common sense tells us money printing is probably not the path to long-term prosperity. But we do believe quantitative easing can impact asset prices in a manner not fully understood by many individual investors as well as many financial advisors. If the Fed is successful for a period of time, investors should consider inflation-friendly and weak dollar assets such as gold, silver, copper, oil, and emerging market stocks. If the Fed fails in the long run, as we expect, then a deflationary spiral may be the outcome, making cash, gold, dividend payers, conservative bonds, and CDs attractive. Middle of the road choices include utilities, consumer staple stocks, and other dividend payers. The response by the markets in the longer term could be a collective yawn. There's no question in our mind that upon an announcement of QE2, or the second quantitative easing program, there'll be a sharp rally in risk assets, especially risk assets that are related to a weak dollar, like copper, silver, oil, and emerging market stocks. The real question becomes, how long will the rally last and how far could it take us? We'll just have to monitor things, especially volume, breadth, and technical indicators, and adjust accordingly. Financial markets tend to anticipate Fed announcements, so we always have to be ready for the buy the Fed rumor, sell the Fed news outcome as it relates to quantitative easing. If you've read the writings of Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke and more recently writings by James Bullard, including his Seven Faces of the Peril, you know the Federal Reserve is willing to use every tool and printing press in their arsenal in an attempt to reinflate asset prices and restore some semblance of the wealth effect. We understand that the Fed faces high hurdles in the form of mountains of global debt and fragile asset prices. This video is part of a six-part series of videos on quantitative easing. You can access all six videos via the QE videos link on our homepage. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. At Shivako Capital Management, we wish you nothing but success with your personal, professional, and market endeavors in the months ahead. The material in this video has no regard to the specific investment objectives, financial situation, or particular needs of any viewer. This video is presented solely for informational purposes and is not to be construed as a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any securities or related financial instruments, nor should any of the content be taken as investment advice. Any opinions expressed in this video are subject to change without notice, and Shivako Capital Management LLC, or CCM, is not under any obligation to update or keep current the information contained herein. CCM and its respective officers and associates or clients may have an interest in the securities or derivatives of any entities referred to in this material. CCM accepts no liability whatsoever for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of the use of all or any part of this material. We recommend that you consult with a licensed and qualified professional before making any investment decisions.